All right. We can go back here. Everything here is interactable. Going down should take us back to the dark rooms. Yep. Okay. Cool, so we have access to everything there. It's almost time for my nap. I can't wait. Why not just take a nap right now? Oh, no, no, no. My beauty sleep has to be perfected or my leaves will fall off. You really have no common sense now, do you? I'll start the countdown. One, and a two, and a three. Oh. Jeez. Watching our... 1578, women gather around a horned demon at dawn, dancing around a wildly burning fire. Oh? Oh. Okay, pumpkin charms. Hey, hello there, miss. Long time no see, get it? Eh? Now, now, pumpkin, you should know better and act like a proper adult. Just kidding. Just kidding. Mary Demise, 1687. A bright red dress floats in the air as if worn by a skilled dancer. Anything else in this area? Oh, we got a few doors. Pumpkin. My days of being a comedian are long gone. I have now dedicated myself to the art of meditation. Just in case we're in anything weird. Try this one first. First out of its tube, chunky red paint flows freely onto the floor, staying the wooden tiles. Okay. Oh. I can't quite understand that one. Hmm. Canvas is blank. Oh. Hmm. Maiden chin. Interesting. A white canvas rests on yous. A series of painting depicts flowers in bloom. A bottle of wine rests on a cloth table accompanied by grapes and a tall glass. Interesting. It's like blending into the background then if it's on a table. Various utensils lay on the work table seemingly ready to be used. Blue paint slowly oozes out of the container spreading across the floor in a smudgy splatter. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Crimson Waters, 1523. A lonesome vessel sails the calm crimson seas as if awaiting a new storm. Nothing there. Various cannabis rests against each other, tightly organized against the wall. Okay. Okay, that is the same... Hmm. Strange loop. Yeah, nothing changed. Okay. Let's back into that room. It's locked. Okay. Oh, there are three keyholes. Oh, huh. okay, three keys then. It's a journal with some doodles, but there's something here. I prefer silence to playing the piano. I prefer it over the sound of my tutor's voice, brother's voice, father's voice. Mother's voice I've never heard, although I was told it used to be loving and gentle. 
My own voice, however, is the one I hate most. Okay, same thing. Yep. Hmm. Oh, yeah, 50 charms. Good for you. Okay, then. Hey there, little girl. Would you be interested in a quiz? Get everything right, and I may give you a reward. Sure. All right, why not? Choose a subject. Hmm. Mathematics. What is the solution to this equation? 2x plus 4 equals 10. Ooh. Okay. So, what? 10 minus 4, 10, 6... Four, so two x, probably three. Two times three, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Congratulations! Here's your reward. Ah, confetti. Quite smart, aren't you? Hmm. Poems for the heart, prose for the mind, by Michael Johan. Okay, interesting. Ah, next record three of five. There's a picture here too. Uh, I guess the mother and the brother. There are a lot of volumes of books on these shelves. There are a lot of volumes of books. Okay. Numerous loose notes litter the floor as if forgotten in time. Mr. George to wrap, right? Yep. And what George wraps around. Save there, because we did the quiz. That's that door. We did the middle door. I need three keys. Let's run down and do the wax record. Crying stopped. Nope, it's still going. It's following me. I know. I have the right one and not B. Yep, yeah, yeah. There's a secret I share with Mother. A secret you and Father pretend not to know about, but are well aware of its consequences. I'm intending to take it with me to the grave when the time comes, however. Unlike Mother, I will take his hand with full commitment. I regret leaving you in that man's hands. Perhaps... He so wishes we... Able to meet again someday, my dear sister. Blue key. Ah, okay, so one of the keys. I think we're done with this floor. Let's do floor three. Oh, she waited that long, huh? Oh. You eat. Mr. Pumpkin? Hmm. Hello? Maybe it's just a lamp. Hmm. The prideful Poet, 1742. The painting of a man wearing a feathered hat and a prideful smug smirk on his lips. Get it. Are you a lamp too? Hmm. Alright, let's 
check out this area before we go through any doors. Faint light weakly pierces the window, shyly peeking through the torn-up curtain. Artificial flowers remain untouched, covered in a thick layer of ashy dust. Cool. Here. The Kind Poet, 1742. The painting of a man wearing a feathered hat and a serene, peaceful look in his eyes. Okay. Oh. Locked. Alright, left. Okay, how is up? Locked. I never liked these hunting trophies. Ram slit shaped people stare blankly, devoid of any light or life. Ooh. Okay then. Yeah. Partially covered in the spider web, the trophy hangs on the wall, stripped of any of its former glory. Paint light? Okay. A tall golden candelabra shines bright, its surface covered in thick cobwebs. Not yet. Pumpkin! Pumpkin! Oh, you scared me! Oh, I'm sorry, I just got a bit too excited. Mind your manners, miss. That's not the kind of behavior we're expecting of a young lady like you. I hope you're not showing up to the party dressed like that. But I... No buts, a lady must know how to present herself properly at all times, no exceptions. Dinner of the Fittest, 1557, the painting of a group of cheerful people indulging in a hearty feast. Are you a lamp, too? Yep. Oop, don't want to go through that door yet. Go through the knocking one first. This one. Oh. Ah! Okay, then. Budge. Ah. Okay. Oh. You all right? Oh, miss, you wouldn't believe what has happened to me. What happened? I lost my precious rosary. I absolutely cannot live without it. Well, I've looked everywhere for it, but I couldn't find it. That's all right, miss. I'll help you. Please don't cry, alright? Oh, thank you, miss. Thank you. You're welcome. Tracing Rumors, 1623. A dark path extends to the depths of the painting, clouded in mystery and cold tones. Hmm. And pumpkin. Ah, outside. It's a white swan. And I wonder if I can't go through the door. There's a tree right in front of it. I don't want to get too close. Oh. I see. 
It was just a statue. Wrapped by old cobwebs, the grandfather clock stands lost in a deep sleep. Hmm. Oh, unlocked. Cool. Magnificent Trot, 1718. Two beastly horses engage in a heated battle, fighting for supremacy. Hmm. Also a lamp. Pick out all of these. Locked. open. A narrow mirror hangs on the wall, its surface covered in grime. Eh, uh, not yet. Oh? Rosary! Yeah. Here it is! Oh. What happened? Oh. Oh, see. Uh, okay. Dang it, where was I? In this hallway, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, we gotta go all the way around again. Get scared. Back to pumpkin. Talk to this girl. Down around because you can't go to the right there. Go save just in case we're running anything different there. So I have to keep doing it all over again. Go through this door now? No. Alright, so I'd have to go all the way back down from the other side. Loop it. Do that right now. And if that's possible, I might as well save it again to make it to where I don't have to run all the way around each time. Oh, pumpkin stack. Look, guys, there's someone here. Hello there, young lady. Aren't you early to the party? What party? You don't know about the party? Hey, guys, she doesn't know about the party. <laughs> hmm. How come you don't know about the party? What are you doing here, then, little girl? Oh, I'm just... You should go to the party now that you're here. Hi. Never know, miss. You might just find your prince charming. Okay, then. We're quadruplets. Okay, then. And same thing. Ah. Okay, so we can unlock it. Cool. But we just can't go through this southmost door. Alright, let's go back up to the 
bathroom up here. Oop, that was the next one. Alright, so don't get the rosary yet. Crystalline water pools undisturbed in the ceramic bathtub. Okay. And this time, let's call out in gel. Gel? Is she not here? In gel? Hmm. Oh. You need to get out of here. Hmm. Get the rosary. Here it is. Ooh. Don't get caught by the dress, and... What happened? Don't step in the dark stuff. Oh. Ooh. Whoosh. I don't want to go back in there. Me neither. Alright. Next. Oh. What? Hmm. Okay, so we can't go anywhere else. Well, we can keep for the rosary, though. I'm gonna go up. Can I go up? Locked. Oh, never mind. Hey, she's gone. Miss? Miss, where'd you go? I'll leave it here. She might come back. Eh, sure, nothing else in here. Oh, a party! It is a great pleasure to attend this gathering. I have been looking forward to this party for the whole past month. I'm finally old enough to join the other guests in their adult conversations. I wonder why there are so many women at this party. Isn't that quite strange? A little bit, but I didn't think much of it. I see, perhaps it's just me. Please, never mind. I've never seen you around here before. Are you a new guest? Ah, yes. Yes, I am. Hmm. You know what I hate about this type of gathering? That you can't avoid bumping into old acquaintances, ignorant ones at that. I see. It seems my only option will be to force a smile and indulge in the white wine again. At least the wine won't try to impose an its presumptuous opinions on me. You seem like a nice person, miss. Thank you. I don't really like going to parties with mother and father. They never let me dance with the party girls. They always force me to dance with the boys. Why do you want to dance with the girls? Because they're prettier, that's all. And they dance way better than boys anyway. I see. Sigh, so I hate people who can't take a hint. Oh, okay, so there's more than one. I like to think I'm a proper lady. At least in comparison to most of the women here. Huh. I've been looking forward to this party. Okay, so that one doesn't. Okay. Hooray. I've seen that before. The tall mirror stands on the corner, its surface glittering with the room's brightness. Oh. Welcome, my precious guest, to the annual Heritage Private Gathering. As you all know, we're gathered here today to celebrate our bonds as friends and partners. The time of prosperity is coming, it must be embraced. 
Tonight is not a night for negotiations, conflict, or troubles. Tonight is a night to enjoy. It is a night to get away from all of your worries. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh my. What is the meaning of this? Everyone, let us calm down. Silence, please. Must ask all the guests to leave this room at once, so we can proceed with the investigation. Please leave in orderly fashion. Butlers, please assist our guests. What's going on? Hmm. What should I do? What do you need, little girl? I... No, it's nothing. I better not disturb them. Alright, to serve them. Hey, miss, where do you think you're going? Oh, I, uh, ran aloud in there. But I... I'm sorry, miss, I can't let you through. Well, I want to see if we can get some more dialogue with the rest of the guests there. Maybe the trigger is a mirror. Ah, okay. I gotta get the rosary again. They'll shatter, but this one didn't shatter. Hmm. Huh? Once clear water has turned pitch black, hiding the depths of the tub under its murky veil. Ah, uh, there's that ending too. Death by dress. As far as those four. Oh my! What nice long hair you have! Oh, thank you! I wish I had hair like yours, but unfortunately I'm not like you. What do you mean? Nothing. Girl wouldn't understand. Do you have any tricks for keeping long hair like yours? Not really. I've just always had it this long. Oh, I see. That's how it is. Hmm. She's ignoring me. Ah, uh, yep, I talked to that one. Oh, and who are you? I haven't seen you around. Well, I'm just... I'm, uh... Must be one of the servants, right? Eh, uh, no. What do you want, servant girl? Can't you see we're busy? Hmm. The ladies look beautiful tonight, don't you think? Yes, all of their dresses are so pretty. Right, right, the dresses, of course. That's so funny. Oh no, don't mind me, it seems you are yet too young to understand my reasoning, that's all. Hmm. Okay, so that repeats. There are quite a few acquaintances present here tonight, so it's become a good chance to chat the night away. Don't you feel more at ease when you're surrounded by people you're familiar with? Yes, it does make me feel better. 
I should thank the host for his lovely invitation. Hm. I wouldn't have come to this tedious party if it weren't for the host host's kind invitation. Too bad he already has a mistress. But don't tell anyone, you hear me? Don't worry, I won't. Oh. Alright, so I talked to her. That triggered it. Are you one of the servant girls? Oh, no, I'm not. Would you please fetch me a glass of wine, thank you? Dwellers at this party are pretty useless, aren't they? They haven't even served me a glass of wine. Okay, then. Bursting out of their vase, the arrangement of roses graces the room with its fragrance. Alright. Same thing, but it's... just fancy. Expensive-looking liquor rests on the wooden table, accompanied by a glittering crystal glass. Can't talk to them. Talk to him. It seems everyone is enjoying the party. A grand piano rests in the center of the room, its surface carefully polished and shiny. Hmm. Old cello stands alone, its strings hanging loosely. Framed in gold, the harp's pearl white strings remain untouched. The mirror is too high up, I can't reach it. There are too many people here. Nobody? Yeah, okay, I think I've finally seen everything here. Can I go around to this one? Let's see around. They're connected at the hip, I think. Yep. They get the same deal. Ah, so it's a trigger. So she's a trigger and the... Ah, no. Okay, it is timed. So you only have so many interactions. Okay. It's the girl on the, it's the guest on the left. All right. Hmm. Herb them. I can't go in. Can't talk to the guy. Doesn't see anything different. 